precision recall average precision and mean average precision these are some of the most commonly used metrics in object detection any object detection paper that you read or any algorithm that you evaluate these are the performance metrics that are used to evaluate different methods different algorithms and in this video we are going to talk about precision recall average precision and mean average precision and understand what these metrics mean and towards the end i'll show you how you can compute these metrics using the yolo v8 model by ultralytics welcome back to the channel guys my name is Ruv. i am the founder and engineer at convolve ai and at convolve we assist small medium large enterprises with their problems that can be solved using computer vision and ai if you are facing bottlenecks inefficiency you want to track stuff better you want automation to be able to min min maintain and ensure compliance and safety you can get in touch with us we can assist you with uh, compliance safety detection uh, pp monitoring um, and uh, figuring out inefficiencies in your workflow and using vision and ai to resolve them so feel free to contact us we would be happy to assess your needs and offer your solution now guys this video is motivated by this comment over here um, and i figured that uh, the performance metrics of uh, precision recall ap and map are some things that are very important they need to be understood and then we need to see how we can compute them using code so let's get started guys and see what these metrics mean so the main metrics that we are going to consider are precision recall average precision and fourth is mean average precision so guys uh, these are all the different metrics these are the common metrics that are used to evaluate quantitatively different object detection models so let's get started with what precision means precision so precision is basically a, a metric that is evaluated as number of true positives divided by number of true positives plus false positives so it's essentially saying that we're going to look at the number of positive detections by the model that are correct and divided by total number of positive detections by the model now how do we define true positives so just as an example let's take uh, take the example scenario that we have in a data set we have let's say these denote cats and then these denote the squares denote dogs so we have a sample data set in which we have cats and dogs a detection that truly correctly uh, and we are trying to detect cats in this data set so if we are detecting cats that is a true positive and we end up detecting a dog as a cat that is a false positive that means we detected uh, we, we said that there is a detection but that detection was in fact incorrect so now in this case our calculation for precision would be uh, number of true positives which is two divided by two which is the true positives plus one which is false positives equals to two over three so that is the computation for precision uh, and precision is basically trying to say how precise your model is in terms of computing the next metric comes uh, uh, is recall so recall is defined as number of true positives divided by true positives plus false negatives so true positives we know the detections that are supposed to be correct and that are correct um, and they are correctly detected by the model that's a true positive what is a false negative so in the above example if we go in this cat and dog example a false negative would be a detection that should have been detected as cat but 
it was never detected so in this example for uh, if you were to consider this example this particular cat this particular cat was never detected so this was supposed to be a positive but it was never detected so it came out to be a false negative that means there should have been detection here but uh, the algorithm the model failed to detect it hence it gets classified as a false negative so once uh, in in this example only we consider so true positives we have two true positives divided by true positives plus one false negative so the recall also comes out to be two divided by three right now let's take another example just to make things a little different uh, these are the cats and these are dogs so we have four cats and two dogs in this or three dogs right and if uh, say the algorithm predicts this as a cat this as a cat and then this as a cat so our precision in this case is equal to number of true positives 2 divided by 2 plus 1 which is a false positive 2 over 3 um, which comes out to be 66.67 percent and our recall is 2 number of true positives divided by 2 plus which is number of true positives plus false negative so now this one and this one both are false negatives they should have been cats but they are not so 2 by 2 is a 2 over 4 which is 50 percent so that's our recall in this case now guys uh, the question arises how do you determine whether detection is a successful detection or not and then how then based on that how do you determine the precision and recall so guys um, in order to do this we need to introduce a concept that is iou iou means intersection over union so what this means is if I were to draw it out if say this is the true detection this is the ground truth and your model is predicting this right now these are the two different bounding boxes that you have and within these bounding boxes this is the area that they are union that they have the union they are united over this area so this is the union and then rest of it all of this counts as their intersection right so the two boxes combined area is the intersection and uh, sorry it's the opposite this part here is the intersection uh, the center part and then the entire rest of the part is the union so when you are trying to compute the intersection over union you take the area of this part which is the dashed part that is the intersection and and you divide it by the union right so this is going to give you iou now guys why is iou important when doing object detection you determine you select what kind of iou you want that means maybe if the iou is 50 percent then a 50 percent overlap between these two boxes is considered as a success if the IOU is 0.95 on the other hand, then you need to have a 95% overlap for it to be considered a success. Right? So when we are looking at precision and recall, what we do is at different IOU thresholds belonging to 0 to 1, we compute the precision and recall for the model so we say set the iou threshold to 0 0.1 and then we compute precision recall 0 0.2 we compute precision and recall of the model and so on now what we are doing here is we are just saying that you know what um, at a 10 percent threshold of intersection over union we are gonna uh, determine the number of true positives false positives false negatives and we are com going to compute precision we are going to compute recall similarly we're going to do it from 0 to 1 at some interval and then what we're going to do is we're going to plot so this is recall and this is precision and we are going to plot these numbers over a plot right we are going to plot the precision and recall at different numbers and uh, we're going to put them on the plot here 
Now, what's going to happen is after we're done with this plot, the curve would look something like this. It won't be as smooth in practical cases, but after smoothing, it will turn out to be this, right? Now, with this precision recall curve, what do we get? The if we calculate the area under this precision recall curve, that area is the average precision. That's the average precision of your model. So average precision is nothing, but if you were to integrate precision over the recall, uh, that is the area under the precision recall curve, which is the average precision. So over different IO thresholds, you compute the precision and recall, plot them, compute the area, and that is average precision. Now, once you have the average precision, now, for example, for the CAT class, we got the precision and recall at different IO thresholds, and we computed the average precision. Now comes the fact that um, we've gotten the average precision. Now, say that we were to do this average precision computation for CATs. Then we were to do the same thing for dogs in the data. We were going to do the same thing for uh, some other organisms, say horses, right? And um, then we have all of these average precisions, right? What if we take the mean of these numbers and then what do we get? I think you guessed it correctly. We will get mean average precision. That is the mean average precision. So the MAP is just the mean of all the average precision for all the classes. And that will give you the mean average precision. Um, now that gives you a quantitative evaluation metric for the model's performance across all the classes. And that's how you can determine how your model is performing and quantify the performance for your model. Now guys, now that we have understood the precision recall, average precision and mean average precision, now let's see how we can implement this in code for YOLO model. Now guys, here on the screen, you can see a YOLO model that has been trained. So we've trained a YOLO model uh, for uh, object detection and these are the weights uh, for the trained model. So let me just show you some validation uh, batches uh, just to give you a sense of what the data looks like. So it's a bunch of people that are being detected in this model, as you can see on the screen here, right? And uh, this was the ground truth. This is the prediction. And now, now the question is, how do we compute performance metrics in ultralytics? Uh, so basically, this is very simple. Uh, with your trained model that you have loaded, so this is where we load the train model. We run uh, the validation. So we tell the model to you know run inference on the validation data set. Dot val uh, is the function that tells it to run on the validation data set. And we give it our YAML file. This YAML file defines the train and validation set. So just to give you a sense of what this file looks like. Uh, so this is the file. It has a train path. It has a validation path. And it has the test path. So you are basically saying that, you know what, um, go into this file and just look at the validation set and run inference on that. Now, after doing that, this result uh, is a, a basic uh, object that stores, uh, sorry, results, stores all the information from the run of the YOLO model. Uh, and then within this results, there is a results dictionary. So when you run this results or results dictionary, it prints out the metrics. So metrics uh, include precision, recall, MAP50 and MAP5295. So basically um, here um, the precision is what we've talked about. Recall is again the same thing um, for that particular intersection of over union. Precision and recall is computed. And then MAP50 is a threshold of 50. And then MAP 50 to 95 is mean average precision at different thresholds between 0 0.5 and 0 0.95. And from there, we can get the metrics of the model. 
that's it guys in terms of implementation it was just one function call however uh, it's important that we understand the basics of uh, the um, precision recall average precision mean average precision as we try to understand more about uh, what these metrics mean and how we can use them to quantify model performance and compare different models that's it for this video guys i hope you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you're notified about any new video that we upload thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video